How's it going? I'm Matt Marksbury, a uh, 27-year-old. Played uh, about uh, t two seasons, parts of two seasons in the big leagues, trying to get back right now, trying to grind myself back into uh, playing. Um, so, yeah, welcome to the grind. Cause I'm out here grinding. I tore my rotator cuff in 2016, so that's why I'm trying to like get back to it. I'm mean, got my velo back up in the 90s. Yeah. Right now, for me, it's just like showing teams that I'm healthy because I didn't get healthy until this past August. Yeah. So it took me about like a year and a half to get my arm right because I opted out of surgery. I just did it all on my own. I did it holistically because all the doctors I met told me that like if I get rotator cuff surgery, that my arm would never be the same. Yeah. And some of them said, listen, man, we can do this for you, but like, you just want to try first to heal it naturally. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to lose a lot of range of motion. And I was like, sounds like a good plan. Because I mean, I didn't want to go under knife and be done for like six months, and, or more than that. Rotator cuff surgery, probably about, like nine or 10. And then not get back, and then have now an arm that can't even lay back or do anything. So I met these guys. Um, I got a call from Chris Medlin, David Artsma, and because I just saw their stuff on Twitter and I kind of hit them up just to see what's up and then I got that their just background story and I liked it because I didn't really want to throw just a bunch of weighted balls and stuff and then I saw the story and all that and then these guys called me one night it was I remember it vividly too it was one night we were just sitting there I was just sitting there by myself thinking like man what am I gonna do like I need to go find something to help because I was throwing but my arm was hurting all the time like mm. I couldn't throw without pain and I ended up getting like anxiety like hardcore anxiety about even throwing a baseball. Yeah. Like I was sitting there going like, oh, is it gonna hurt? Like, mm -hmm. and it, it made throwing, baseball used to be fun, it made baseball not fun. Yeah. Cause now I was like, all right, well, I'm screwed. Mm -hmm. So I came down here, met these dudes and um, been training with them. And I finally was able to throw without pain working with Brent. And I started throwing without pain. And then uh, since then, like I just been throwing and building cause I was down for so long that it's gonna take me a while to build back up. Cause they used to be 94 to 96. And then now I'm, I'm seven around 88 to 91, top of mm. 92 right now, which is not bad, which should get me signed. That's why I'm hoping if I show teams I'm healthy, I'll get signed again. But it's just like one of those things where it's like, I know I got more in the tank. I just gotta somehow tap it. Yeah. So. Free workout, Max? No, this is BCAA. A little BCAA. Oh yeah. Branch chain. Hello. Branch chain, amino acids. So, I'm supposed to consume two scoops. During exercise. Pre, during, and after. So my problem is like I tend to spin more than like stay through it all. Yeah. So for me, like when I do long tossing like this, when I go like this, it's easier for me to stay through compared to being stationary because obviously moving forward, you're out, your body is like, hi, we're going forward. And then when you're stationary, you're like, I gotta spin to make. Yeah, you're creating momentum. That was nasty. Oh, no, that was the best one you've ever thrown, and I didn't notice you gave me sliders, Cole. <laughs> even though you did, I didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. Where'd that go? Into the woods. Just get one off right here. Just smoking. What are you throwing me off? Who? Like, what are you at right now? I don't know. <laughs> no. Some days it feels great, other days it doesn't. Right now we're jamming lower half. Got to build a strong pillar from the foot up. Mm. It's for you. <laughs> Here at Grind TV. Is that what it's called? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Dude, that's pretty. Like that, your hop kinda is almost gone. Which is what I'm trying to get rid of too, because usually I like, Nah, it's all quad. Shoot him up. How about like three more and I'm good? Okay. Just both sides. It's yeah, friendship. I would say, dude, like, off a mountain probably right now, you're easily 46 on that. I feel really good, but it's only if my legs work right. I want to get back on the bump because when I'm yeah. around, I'll be 89. So. Yeah. 
Call it that now. Grind TV trademark. I want all the money from that. I don't get any of what Brent says. Is that just way out over the front? Yeah. I'll just tell you that. I just unload early. Okay. Like it goes. See how your foot's coming up like that? Yeah. And then that should lift, but not that high up with your toe. It should be a. A linear a momentum up. forward. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not really, have, you don't have any explosive momentum forward. Okay. Um, so the challenge is all rotational right now. Not a lot of. You get. You got more. Way. It looks like you got more in your legs. Okay. <laughs> it's actually not that bad of a way. Land. Yeah, that's the problem is I have a little kick and so it's messed up my timing, so I'm trying to shut off that little kick in the front. Colin had the same problem. You done, brother. Get on that. Thank you, sir. That was mucho grande. person stands in, he was like losing his control of the break. He's like, throw it in, throw it in, he threw it in, I tried to draw it away. And he right there, for three weeks and it still hurts. That's why I like it. It's like, it's those who can push themselves when you're not like with an organization. It's easy to do it when you're side. It's when you have no job. It's when you're jobless.
glad you got that. You're that a good one. Those are the moments that you wish never get caught. And I got it caught. Some of these guys, man. What's good about this lifting is like you can take all day to do it. Yeah. It's a P25. For me, yeah, it's, it's big considering when I came here last year, I couldn't even do like one three. Like, and it looks good. It feels the only good. thing is, yeah, like you said, like I'm lifting up and I'm kind of catching it forward. But my biggest thing that I know I could do more weight, because like the first time I got it, I got it up here, but I couldn't just sit under it. Yeah. And I finally know um, Pumbo right there in the third pole means I just try to sit on one. And so when I caught it, I tried to yes. as low as I could. But if I could if I could somehow have the flexibility and then like just because I don't have very good ankle motion. If I had to have that flexibility to catch it right there and get it up, dude, I can Yeah, but don't go deep. I want you to try to catch it high. Yeah, I know. You go high, but like Matt Bruce says, like uh, jump back. So you rather fall of, backwards and forward. Right. Well, focus on like jumping back. Sometimes okay. you won't. Like he says, you won't. You'll just go regular, but it'll prevent you from having to go. Forward. Yeah. That's my biggest thing. I think I drink too much coffee today, man. I got the... What? I think I drink too much caffeine today. <laughs> I'm getting fatigued quick. Like as in, you know... You know what that does? When well, you have too much, like, you get out of breath quicker. Too much caffeine, not... I didn't know that. Because it makes your heart pump faster, easier. <laughs> Nutrition facts brought to you by me. But well, you know what's funny is too, I read a study by this fucking um, nutritionist and he said, sorry, sorry for the language, you can edit that out. This nutritionist said, if you want to boost your testosterone, drink coffee in the morning. Because it helps stimulate your central nervous system. When your central nervous system is fired and better, it's easier for your hormone glands, like your adrenal glands, and your pituitary gland, and then like, you know, your thyroid to pump out more stuff. What if I told you I haven't heard a word you've said because I've had earphones in the whole time? What if I told you I'm more than just math? I heard it all. <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, my quad is so... Wait, so you know that, you know that uh, it was like ESPN 30 for 30? What if I told you? <laughs> what if I told you that eggs is so beneficial? Believe me. <laughs> One thing I will say though, is putting yourself in an area with a bunch of guys that are trying to reach a goal that you're all are trying to obtain is more motivation than being in a clubhouse of guys that are just there and trying to enjoy the ride. It's like, cause if you don't have that motivation and that drive to want to go get more than what you already have, then you're never going to succeed. In personal, in my opinion. So being around Vic Black, being around all these younger guys that are trying to throw 90, and then me and him just trying to help these guys out, having some MLB experience. Cause we're both trying to get back and then these guys are trying to get somewhere too. We all push each other, man. It don't matter age, man. That's what I like about this place. Top B, baby. Come on. What are you doing? Jerks? Oh yeah, okay. I agree. Well, I saw 15, I was still thinking pounds. Yeah, that's 70 kilos. That's over 200 pounds. Yeah, we yeah, usually don't get to that. This kilogram thing is going to make me break all my PRs. For sure. It's crazy. This thing. Canadian weight numbers. Get it, Matt! Yeah. I saw it coming, I was like, okay, I got it. That's the one that's the rack part, man. Yeah, yeah it was, my legs feel better. I'm you just, know, you know what code you were there, though? All right, 92. Fast-paced, upper yeah. beat kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had been going, playing. Yeah. Yeah. Make it's him go face. wild, man. Yeah. I guess you are close if you're 88. My legs right. felt so much better. My arm didn't feel like I was, like, getting to this point, and, like, yeah. Yeah. 
so you felt like you were, uh, were you getting later here? I'm getting, like, I can feel it. The only thing I noticed when you were doing your sleds the other day, and, I, and I'll do that too, when you, we were doing the step in front, you were doing it right, but then you started to turning your feet. Yeah. I was trying to go faster, and I got into quad. Right. It made my left ankle so sore the next day, because I was, like, coming at this angle, trying to push off at a weird, and it's not done that in a long time. Yeah, no. You need a lot of that lateral work. Well, that's what I was talking to Amanda last night. I was like, hey, she's like, when were you like the, in the best shape? It's like, well, the two offseasons I went to Saddlebrook and trained with a bunch of position players, and the guy that's running our work. conditioning was a receiver. So I got fast with the way to the It made all the difference. Yeah, you need that lateral power. Yeah. You got it here. Yeah. You got to go that way. So you, can just, you can be going like, boom, boom. Yeah. Cause that's why you're gonna get here and you do the same thing. You're gonna go bam, and then your upper body's going to What was doing? And I was feeling myself actually getting into this point with my chest still yeah. up instead of yeah. Yeah. that. Because that's gonna help you separate your leg, your arm, and then it's all about that trunk. How'd you feel in your chest up? Feel like you could get your trunk out? Good. Yeah, I'm better. It's not getting that's cut off really, immediately when at doing, my impact. When you're doing your chest ups, really feel that throwing all out, like all that going forward. Cause that's what we want to get out of here. Yeah. Mm. Well, and I, the first few I was hesitant because I, that thing. Uh, so I was like, no, you don't do it, please. But I just kept going and it was fine. Uh, Joe gave me some video of Colin and Cody doing the, the split ones like this. How like, so they reach down, yeah. drive, and then it comes up oh, with yeah. yours too. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay. Cause I was going from right here. I was like, yeah, it just, that's what you're doing here, you're trying to get to 40. Yeah. Like you're not you know, nice. the best advice I ever got from was a pitching coach named Rich Juvie. with the Phillies for a long time. He always told me, he goes, he goes, he always like, when I was in 15, when I was in high edge, I was like, at the beginning, I was throwing hard, but I was just like, erratic. And he goes, you're breathing out of your eyelids, kid. He goes, literally, come sit and take a big, deep breath. I started doing that, dude, and I started just like, locating it, throwing harder. And then, next thing you know, three months later, I was in the show. No, I, it's a huge piece. Because it's all about. Colin the other day, he walks up to me and he goes, Man, I'm just thinking about this and this and this. It's like, Hey, once you step on the rubber, you should shut off completely and just try to throw the heck out of it. And he goes, 89 92. Those are you know, I like what David Arjma said. He, like, he finds a place on the rubber that will be the same wherever he is and it makes him feel comfortable. So he looks at the corner. So he walks up and he looks at that corner and he just tries to relax. Because he says it doesn't matter where he is, that corner is always where he is. I like that talent. Yeah. Uh, Mike, just steady diet of Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs, Subway cold cut trios, and lots of pizza. Yeah, I'd say you do that That's it. If Ben and Jerry's. So yeah, I'm just gonna find food that you would shove in your nuclear bomb shelter. Except for I can't support Ben and Jerry's anymore. One of the founders got arrested for public indecency at a riot, so. Out really? on that. Yeah, just yesterday, Ben, so, the Ben guy. You farted on me? Is it crop dusting? No. Oh, it's like you farted on me? You come what? over here in my. Wait a minute, what? What? Brent! Are you gonna work out today? Brent, dude, like, imagine if you like, got on like a consistent plan. Like, how shredded you be at 40? To run top eight. You don't have 10 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. I, I would need like 30, 45 minutes a day. I used to do that. What's what's the thought? The inmates can't run to jail? <laughs> right.
All right, guys. You start hearing me making weird noises, then help me. If you're gonna throw it back, let me know and I'll back off. Easy. Yeah, I feel like a spot for that. That was fun. That's good. It's good that you had good things. I feel like I did that. 